Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we remember today all our faithful departed, we celebrate this Mass to ask God to also remember them and to look upon them with mercy and love so that they may be made worthy to, to share in the mystery of Christ's resurrection. Let us now be sorry for our sins. Let us beg God's forgiveness and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, and as our faith in your Son, raised from the dead, is deepened, so may our hope of resurrection for your departed servants also find new strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The souls of the just are in the hand of God, and no torment shall touch them. They seem, in the view of the foolish, to be dead, 
and their passing away was thought an affliction. But they are in peace, for if before men indeed they be punished, yet is their hope full of immortality. Chastised a little, they shall be greatly blessed, because God tried them and found them worthy of himself. As gold in the furnace, he proved them, and as sacrificial offerings, he took them to himself. In the time of their visitation, they shall shine and shall dart about as sparks through stubble. They shall judge nations and rule over peoples, and the Lord shall be their king forever. Those who trust in him shall understand truth, and the faithful shall abide with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his holy ones, and his care is with his elect. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. In verdant pastures, he gives me repose. Beside restful waters, he leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that, just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. But if we have grown into union with him through a death like his, we shall also be united with him in the resurrection. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that our sinful body might be done away with, that we might no longer be in slavery to sin. For a dead person has been absolved from sin. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia. You who are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in Him may have eternal life, and I shall raise Him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the title of today's celebration is the commemoration of all the faithful departed. And so this day is all about remembering we remember all those who have passed from this world to the next. We remember family members, relatives and friends, people we know who have departed from life on earth. But we also remember those we do not know and especially those who have no one to remember them. Today, we remember all the faithful departed. And when we remember them, different emotions are evoked in us. When we remember loved ones who have passed away, the feeling of pain, of losing them, the feeling of missing them, the feeling of grief may be evoked in us. But remembering them may also lead us to gratitude to God for blessing our life with the lives of our loved ones who have gone before us. Today is a day of remembering. And when we remember, it only goes to show that we have not lost them. When we remember, it only proves that they are very much part of our lives. That is why we could remember them. Because if they have not been part of our lives, then we have forgotten them. Sa pag-alala natin sa ating mga namayapang kapatid, ipinapakita lamang natin ang ating patuloy na ugnayan sa kanila. Over and over again, we are reminded that death is not the end of life. Death is a transition to a better life. Over and over again, we are reminded that death does not end relationships. Death only transforms our relationships from something that is merely physical and earthly to something that is beyond this world, to something that is divine. And this is the assurance given to us by our readings today. In our first reading, the Book of Wisdom tells us that the souls of the just are in the hands of God. 
when a person dies, that person is not lost. Tayo mga Pilipino, kapag may pumanaw, sinasabi natin, wala na siya. But the truth is, in faith, no one is lost in death because the soul of the just is in the hands of God. Hindi nawala napunta sa kamay ng Diyos. This is also what St. Paul tells us in our second reading today. He says that if we have died with Christ, we believe that we will also rise with Him. And so death is not losing. Death is being with Christ. And Jesus, in our gospel, beautifully tells us, This is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. Hindi kalooban ng Diyos na may mawala, ipinadala niya si Jesus upang walang mawala, upang ihatid tayo lahat sa buhay na walang hanggan. And so by remembering all our faithful departed today, we profess in a powerful way our belief that in death, no one is lost. In death, we go to the Father. In death, we belong to Christ. That is why we remember, because they are not lost. But my dear brothers and sisters, this day is not just about remembering those who have died. As we remember those who have died, we also remind ourselves how to live. Because we could only speak of a meaningful death if we know how to meaningfully live. And so today we are reminded how we should live on earth, how we must spend our lives now so that we too one day may be remembered, so that we may be in people's memories so that we will also not be lost. How we live, how we care for each other, how we love one another will determine how we will be remembered after we die. And so as we remember those who have passed away, we also ask ourselves, how do I want to be remembered. Kapag wala na ako sa daigdig na ito, paano kaya akong aalalahanin? You know, one of the greatest fears of humanity is the fear of being forgotten. Takot na takot tayong makalimutan. Kaya may mga tao na pinalalagay ang kanilang pangalan kung saan saan. Merong mga gym na ipinapangalan sa kanila. May mga building na nakapangalan sa kanila. May mga lupa na nakapangalan sa kanila. Nagpapatayo ng mga rebulto at estatwa para hindi sila makalimutan. But how do you want to be remembered? Or will you even be remembered? My dear brothers and sisters, let us live meaningful lives. If death is about being in the hands of God, then life is also being in the hands of God. If we live our lives well on earth by following God's will, then we know there is no other place we will go but also in the hands of God in eternity.
How do you wish to be remembered? Will you be remembered at all? Will people find joy in remembering you? Or will, pre will they prefer not to remember you at all? In that case, you are lost. I remember a quotation I once read. It says, Always have a successful exit than a favorable entry. Because what matters is not being clapped when you arrive, but being remembered when you leave. Please stand. We believe in the communion of saints, confident in that fact, in that act of faith. Let us reach out in prayer for all who have passed away, especially those who need the charity of our intercessions. For every petition, let us say, Lord, Listen to our prayers made in love and in faith. Lord, listen to our prayers made in love and in faith. That the church on earth may never forget the church waiting for the final glory in eternity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to our, our prayers made in love and in faith. faith. That light and peace may be given to the souls of those who never knew Christ in this life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our prayers, prayers made in love and in faith. faith. That people who fear death may find hope in the risen Christ and His cleansing forgiveness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our prayers, prayers made in love and in faith. That those who mourn over the loss of their loved ones may be consoled as they pray for the souls of their beloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our prayers made in love and in faith. That the mercy revealed in purgatory may deepen our trust in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord listen, listen to our prayers made in love and in faith. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of life, we commend into your care the souls of those who wait to share in the glorious resurrection of your Son, our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may become acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably on our offerings, O Lord, so that your departed servants may be taken up into glory with your Son. In this great mystery of love, we are all united, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In Him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servants whom you have called from this world to yourself. In silence, let us pray for the faithful departed. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also one day share with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who were pleasing to you as their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you, our God, as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages, and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world, all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the Jesus sins Christ of the world, Christ have mercy Christ on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, 
grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, our resurrection and life. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that your departed servants, for whom we have celebrated this Paschal Sacrament, may pass over to a dwelling place of light and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Wednesday evening healing rosary for the world, which will be hosted by the Diocese of Caloocan. And we will pray the Holy Rosary from the Campo Santo de la Laloma, in commemoration of all the faithful departed. Let us be one in prayer for all the souls, especially our loved ones and those who perished during this time of pandemic and the recent calamities. Tonight at 9 o'clock our, on our Facebook page, please join us in praying the rosary and imploring the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary especially for our faithful departed. After the Mass, we shall offer prayers for our beloved dead. We request you to remain in your places and join us in praying for the faithful departed. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the God of all consolation bless you, for in His unfathomable goodness, He created the human race, and in the resurrection of His only begotten Son, He has given believers the hope of rising again, now and forever. Amen. To us who are alive, may God grant pardon for our sins, and to all the dead, a place of light and peace forever and ever. Amen. So may we all live happily forever with Christ, whom we believe truly rose from the dead forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Yeah.